Hey guys, welcome back. Um, <laughs> I got some new lights. I'm super excited to see how well they work for me because I just, the other ones, they were too off balance. This feels more even, but I don't, I can't, my floor is not level. This is an, everything slants in here. This is an old building. I guess I gotta do, as long as it's not too off, I'll be okay. So now I have more actual lighting in my apartment. When I moved in, there was only two lights. So one in my kitchen and one in my bathroom. <laughs> that was it, it was terrible. So now I'm more better lit, <laughs> but I'm not lit, okay, anyway. So the, today was my five to seven minute. I say that because sometimes I spend a little too much time focusing on something that I don't need to. Uh, five minute bronzy kind of going out to the pool, but you want to look nice look. <laughs> so when I filmed this, my SD card was full and I, you know, I was like, what? There were no photos on it. I don't, I'm not really sure. So I had to reformat the card. So. I did I reformatted the card lost my video I did this morning so I have to go back and redo that sort of anyway so yeah that's the story and then I've recorded this video twice the mic was on and there was no sound so I don't know what's happening so I did a little test there was some sound so I'm gonna try this one more time if not I'm not gonna be filming for a minute <laughs> so let's roll into this all right, so let's just start with the foundation. I did the Lumi True Ma the True, the True Match Lumi foundation. I did a review on this. I liked it then. I love it even more now because it's only been like six and a half or seven hours that I've had this on, and it's only faded away in certain spots. But I'm not surprised because number one, I didn't prime my face. Number two, I didn't powder my face. Number three, I. There was a reason why. Anyway, I didn't do those two things. It didn't powder. And I only did, it is only like a medium, I believe, at best coverage. So this is not really a super strong medium, but I will use it because I can do four pumps and it's not that expensive and I want to want to buy it again. I will. So I did that and I have found that this hourglass brush is like the best with this foundation. The sponge and the other brush I used before, they were not good, or they weren't the best, but I feel like I get a beautiful finish with that hourglass brush. So going back, like I said, I did not powder and I did not prime, which I think it's because I'm out of primer right now, which is why I'm not. I mean, I have some, but I don't like it. And to be fair, that every primer works differently. So a primer from one brand won't exactly look good with another brand. I, and I've noticed that from personal experience, not trying to knock anyone. So that's why I have a bunch of different primers. And I believe one of them was the culprit of my breakouts for a while. So let me get off primers. <laughs> All right, so let's get started. I will start with the brows. I filled them in with my brow pencil. Guys, my brows are atrocious right now, atrocious. I'm afraid to try to fix them again because of the last butchering I did. So I'm not going to, I'm just gonna wait. So after that, let's talk about the eyes. I did the Milani uh, Hypnotic Lights. This is like, this is called, not like, <laughs> this is called Luster Light, but it's similar to that kitten liquid, the, glitter thing that they have from Stila, which everybody loves. It's a beautiful color, but so is this at half the cost. I think they still make it. Um, I'm not sure. I haven't been to the store in a while. <laughs> so with that, um, I took a flat brush and I kind of blended it out, let it dry. For me, I'm super anal. I need a clean crease. So I took a very, very, very light, light brown shade and I blended it into the crease just to give it a more clean look to it. I did highlight my brow with um, my nylon that I do all the time and the inner corner, but you don't need to see that. <laughs> so I really wanna talk about the lashes. 
The lashes that I used were the Ardell 420s. Guys, if you're not used to lashes and you want some, go pick up this pair because it gives you just a oomph of volume and a oomph of length. Perfect. Perfect starting out lashes. They're very lightweight. It's not a heavy band. Like you can tell you can barely tell I have them on because it's just it just gives a little bit. Just a little bit. It's definitely more than what my natural lashes. So I'm sorry. Anyway, these are my new favorite lashes. So you guys go check them out. And if you do, I will link my eyelash tutorial if you need help with that. Probably up at the top. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that. So moving on, I did bronze. I did do the bronze booster from Physicians Formula. I don't know if I can see that. I, I, I'm dying to get that camera with a monitor because I cannot see what I'm doing. Anyway, I did do that. I felt like on my cheeks it was a little bit orange, so I went just a little bit with the dark brown to kind of hollow it out just a little bit. You know, there's some things uh, that you do when you try to do a light makeup, but you just can't help. And liner, contouring, those things, I feel like I cannot live without, but I'm trying to. I need to, I need to work on being okay with this kind of a medium look to me. Not so much hardcore chiseled out features, which I love. Anyway, <laughs> I'm either completely happy, completely barefaced, or all the makeup on. All of it so I need to be happy somewhere down in the middle all right so we're gonna move on to the highlighters I use the Tartese palette because I do love these highlighters you don't have to have one highlighter for the whole face you can mix your colors it's okay so above the cheekbones I use the the stunner right here and it's kind of a light taupey very light taupey shade and then up top I did strobe well, or not on top I, I use the one at the top called strobe for my nose and on the bridge of my nose and I have thoroughly enjoyed this palette thank you to my friend who gave it to me I love it all right so the blush I did the uh oh I did the MAC Sweets for My Sweet. This is the pink with the gold undertones. This gives you that naturally blushed look to your cheeks. Absolutely love it. I'm going to order another one because I am definitely afraid to we'll probably discontinue this one because I love it so much. So it is a little bit tougher to get out of the pan than what they used to have, but I'm okay with that. I'll work it. I'll work with it. All right, moving on, concealer. I did the Dose of Colors Concealer. This is really nice. It's not too, since I didn't have a heavy coverage, it doesn't leave a heavy coverage under here, but it does cover your dark circles. And I just applied it with my tiny, tiny little Beauty Blender sponge. And it just is flawless. I love it. So I have two, three number ones now, Laura Mercier Dose of Colors and then Maybelline Adrian Wines. All right, so now we need to talk about the lips. I used the, I wanted a pinky, basically what happened was I bought another shade of those L'Oreal Macaroon lips and I just really wanted to see. It wasn't any particular reason like it went with this look, but I just wanted to play with it. So I took my Cabernet Lip Liner from Laura Geller and this is the Infallible um, Pro Matte liquid lipsticks and I do have to rave about the applicator because you can this is made perfectly so that you can line the lips you don't really need a liner usually most of them you kind of need to work with it if you're gonna line it but this one is easy peasy like you just go I've loved this this has a long stay I have eaten I have drank not the things I want to drink but <laughs> I have drunk things it stayed on I did top it with a darker pinker gloss earlier to give it a look I have been sitting out in the heat with this whole look and it held up very well very very well even like the fading right here I'm okay with because it wasn't a heavy foundation 
I didn't prime it, powder it, but everything else didn't settle in the fine lines. There's no creasing in my lids. The lashes to me are perfect. They're my favorite pair now when I want something simple. Eventually, maybe I'll go back to wanting the super dramatic lashes, but right now, I'm kind of over it. But this is, and I got so many compliments on this, and <laughs> to be honest, I was kind of like, this is not my best work. And I don't know why that is. I don't know if it's because I didn't put all, everything that I would do, like if I were going out, out, like the full on everything, and I'm just not comfortable. <laughs> kind of like the not doing everything, like I said, I fought every urge to put on liner, <sighs> but I didn't, but I didn't, I didn't put on liner. So, <laughs> I'm sorry, excuse me. Okay, anyway, so that is it for this video. If you guys have any questions, leave them down below. I will try to put everything, if I can remember, I will try to put everything down below for you that I used on my face. If you um, if you have any interest in those products, I will let you know. Uh, if you enjoyed this video or learned anything, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, uh, I would please I would ask you to please consider that. I love to have more people. I need far more engagement with people. I don't have to have a bazillion followers or subscribers or anything like that. I just want people to engage with me a little bit and only a handful. Not even a handful. It's like two. Only two people do. So I don't know. And if make sure you guys are ringing the bell to get your notifications. Um, I'm not sure what's going on from the beginning. I started, I would have like 75 to 300 views. And when the virus kicked in, I started getting four views, two views, one view. And I have struggled to not feel like a loser for that because I worked so hard. And if guys, if the content is bad, please let me know. I'm okay with that because I, I can't I can't better myself if I don't know. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Okay.